All right, here we go. The Yamex, uh, who a lot of people say, hey, the Yamex has a lot of like spiky criticisms. And that, that's his thing, man. That's what that's that's his gimmick, and that's how he gets people on board. Uh and and the Yamex videos that I've seen, uh, I'm not generally a fan of Yamex. Um, and, and that has nothing to do with the fact that he called DG360 low effort content because all I do is react. <laughs> <laughs> React to that, Yamix. Uh, but really, let's see here what he's going to bitch about today. Today, Yamix is going to bitch about uh, the $500 million game that is still not finished. Okay, well, here we go. Clickbaity, clickbait. Click, click, click. And boom, here we go. Finally, you got another happened. click, Yamix. No, not that boring crap, but another boring crap. Star Citizen has finally breached a half a billion dollars crowdfunding. And yet, after 10 years since announcement of the... Pro okay, okay. I'm already... Uh, so, how did... Can we, can, we, can we say that Star Citizen has brought in $500 million from people who want to have an experience that perhaps could give them a gaming experience that is unlike any other out there and that's why it's taking this long you know and also can we say like children in the backseat of a car like yamix uh are we there yet are we there yet are we there yet are we there yet are we also there yet um i'm sure most of us could but i choose not to be the child in the backseat asking those questions project there still is no game <gasps> not even one in sight to see so what the Wait, fuck is going i love how he says that there's no game in sight to see when if you if you look at my low effort content <laughs> where i'm reacting to videos right that is all very low effort we can see tons and tons of people especially more so in the pvp realm actually having a wonderful good time calling it a game already throughout the bugs even though it's still an alpha, which is, yes, laughable at 10 years, totally agree, but people are actually playing a quote-unquote game and having fun. So what he's saying is false narrative. It's a false narrative. It's a biased narrative. In game development, what they're trying to do, the scope is huge, and they've successfully brought in $500 million. So, you know, you know that's not a big deal, right? That's not a big deal, right? <laughs> No, no, let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Let's get those clicks and back to the click. Hang on. As longtime followers, either my stuff or Star Citizen <laughs> itself can say, it's Alpha, don't judge. No, sorry, uh, wrong meme there. I mean, it's coming, uh, kind of. You see, when I told my friend who knew basically just the name of the project and not much else, he was shocked. In his words, Half a billion? Well, what cosmos is this? Well, starting from the beginnings, in 2012, Chris Roberts announced this project for two games. One multiplayer, the titular Star Citizen with open world, and the other one, single player, super star cast, ultra fidelity one, with incredible stars taking part as characters, like Mark. I haven't seen many Yamix videos, but I'm starting to feel like Explodo, who says that's what I'm saying. When you've seen one Yamix video uh, in terms of SC, you've seen them all. Uh, he could just change the thumbnail and do the same video over and over again, and he's very successful at it. He's making tons of revenue off of people. He's making tons of revenue off of suckers. I, I call them suckers. Uh, <laughs> like suckers that continually fall for the hook, line, and sinker. That click on... Now, this is just in regards to the SC content, because I've watched three now. I've watched three of these, and it's all the same. It's like, oh, no, or, oh, yeah, look at that, mm, mm, you know? I call that very low effort. I call that a uh, very low effort. <laughs> Hamill. Initially, Star Citizen simply operated as a simple crowdfunding but I haven't project, watched and a lot that of his got videos, very so. successful 2 million funding on Kickstarter after their own website crashed on launch due to space dads and nerds jizzing themselves to death. After initial period, overall, the project ranked in over $10 million, I guess I'm a space which easily dad. greenlit the whole ambitious project. Though, as you can tell, it was just a tip. The real spending spree started picking up and really has never stopped after realization that space ships sell. Yes, be they already developed or fully featured once or just the concept phase, the so-called By the way, let's not undersell that particular point that these particular spaceships sell. 
Let's not undersell that, Yamix, right? Because imagine another game developer trying to do the same thing. Do you think they would be as successful? Do you think that they would be as successful? I would say no. I would say no. $500 million? Like, can we just, like, for a moment fathom that particular number and how successful Cloud Imperium is at selling spaceships? Their, their entire model, primarily, we, we worked out the math on this one time, it was like 80% of revenue that was brought in out of that $500 million, which would be what, uh, $400 million or thereabouts, would be from the ships. The other 20% is brought in through other revenue streams, subscribers, uh, you know, uh, various marketing of uh, venture capitalists that come in, um, like the Calders. You know, that's the other 20%. But but that's a huge number. And that should not be undersold. It is a very monumental thing to accomplish to sell $400 million of spaceships. You know, I, I don't think we should tuck that under the rug. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, this is the thing that really gets me annoyed about Yamix is like, he's coming at this from an angle where it's like, oh, you're you're terrible for buying these things and being suckered into buying these things when really you don't have to buy any of these things, right? Some people have only spent like 45, 50 bucks. It's not a big deal, you know? Like that's not a lot of money for the experience that's being offered to you right now at all. You know, not everybody's spending hundreds or thousands of dollars on this game. But, like, I feel like every time I listen to a Yamix narrative on Star Citizen that everybody's a sucker Everybody spent thousands of dollars and they're not getting a good experience out of it. Like who is he? Like is he like who is he to be the the guy telling us all that, you know, we aren't getting a good experience? Could you imagine being that self-entitled? <laughs> could you could you imagine being that self-entitled to think that your experience is everybody else's experience? <laughs> I understand that when I'm when I when I'm giving my opinions, right? When I when I'm giving my opinions, and not everybody's going to agree with me. I understand when I when I'm saying this that not everybody's going to agree with me, and I'm I'm okay with that, right? I've been on both sides of the fence before. I've been a naysayer, a white knight, a naysayer, a white knight. Right now, I'm I'm much more positive because why? Five hundred million dollars, and they reported a profit. Their P and L. Just look at the balance sheet. Look at the business. Look how good that they're doing right now. That's that's a huge plus. It used to be a huge negative for me, and I used to bitch all the time about the business model. And then the business model, whew, boom, just clicked, and they focused on the ships. And it was like bing, bang, boom, and we're at $500 million. So it's not a small feat, and it is definitely something that is hard to do to sell $500 million worth of spaceships. Apex. Even those ships sold, and in time, the roster of the ships to purchase exploded and proved highly profitable. <laughs> in time, they even sold Spaceland. I What's up, Oz? Oh, sorry, How's no, my to mind correct doing? myself there. What they sold was insurance for the stuff on the land. Yep. This is the future, ladies and gentlemen. Now, those on you know, and and I didn't buy any land, and some people did buy the land. So what? You're gonna fart? You're gonna fart all over them? You're gonna fart on the people that bought the land? <laughs> how many other games are out there that sold land, right? Like, how many games are out there that sold land that you're very sure are not going to ever come to fruition? Do you feel that way about Star Citizen? I feel a little bit more positive about Star Citizen. Did I buy the land? No, I didn't buy the land. I didn't buy the land because I didn't see the point in it. They're nowhere near that. But should I crap on everybody that bought the land? <laughs> should I just fart on everybody's head that <laughs> bought the land? And make them feel like dumbasses for, for buying the land? I mean, like, it's not, like, hello, there's a thousand employees here in five, uh, five locations. This isn't a small ragtag group anymore. You know, like, people are still, still thinking about, like, this as being a small ragtag team. This is not a small ragtag team. Cloud Imperium's really large, <laughs> really big right now. They're very legitimate right now and they got that way through through hard work <laughs> you know and they tripped a lot and they've tripped a lot <laughs> along the way okay it wasn't a perfect climb to get here trust me 
Okay, but they're here. But we're just gonna we're, hold on. We're just gonna poop on everybody's head. How dare! <laughs> How dare a corporation want to bring in revenue? How dare a corporation be capitalist? How dare a corporation uh, bring in that money? <laughs> That's not the way it works. Is that the way game development works? <laughs> Somebody, wait, stop the presses. Stop the presses. Corporations make money. Oh my God, hold on a second. This just in, corporations are capitalist and bring in profit and revenue and sometimes losses. Oh my God. Oh my God. Unfamiliar with Star Citizen may think that, ah, well, okay, even the worst pay to win games don't usually charge more than 10, maybe 20 bucks per microtransaction, right? Oh God. Oh, oh no. Oh no. God forbid they're selling it at crazy prices. You know what? They're, you know what? Because the market's paying it. Yamix, the market is, am I paying it? No. Cause I'm, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't have those funds. Okay. And I don't think personally it's a smart thing for me to do right now. <laughs> right. But people have done it. Right. Are they all victims? Are they all lemmings? I feel like the Yamics would make you believe that they are. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Every single person who bought this way high-priced land. By the way, the, the, they paid it. Is that dumb of Cloud Imperium to do? Is that dumb for a corporation to do that? Oh, my God, a corporation marks something at a very high price. Oh, my God, capitalism. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not even halfway through this yet. Uh, it's only two minutes and 16 seconds. By the way, this is all very low effort. This is all very low effort. This was a package a few years back that included most of the ships available today. And yes, even ground vehicles that people purchased wholeheartedly. Now, today I'm not going to talk about the They're problem spenders and the issue with that, or people who have more money to spend than an average plebeian. But you can see how when you have an average spaceship, I mean, package, yes, they're called packages, even though there's only one thing in them, and that's... Yes, $35,000 is ridiculous. Yes, $15,000 is ridiculous. $6,400 is ridiculous. Here's, here, in my view, you want to see what my view is, all right? Because this is, this is my own personal opinions, right? This is what I feel. Do I think that everybody is stupid that spent these prices? No. No, I don't. Because everybody's situation is different. Some people could have a lot of money to do this. What is he focusing on? What is Yamix really focusing on? Yamix is focusing on the, the gaming demographic that is, that is completely addicted to this type of content. To the people who, uh, have an issue, have a actual spending problem. It is a problem. It is a real problem, right? But they are still choosing to make this decision, right? Is the platform to blame to be capitalist? To be capitalist, are they, are they to blame? I don't know. It's going on on Twitch. It's a great discussion right now. Gambling on Twitch. <laughs> Because there's a lot of gamblers out there that are addicted to gambling that can't control their spending habits, right? And so you see on Twitch what's happening. They 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 made sure that all slots are gone, all forms of gambling, except I think poker. Poker and something else. I guess I'm just really hardcore. You know, I feel like we are all responsible adults, most of us, and we all make the decisions on our own. I mean, God forbid I actually come to this as an adult talking as an adult this might be really hardcore for people to understand but these people made these decisions they put themselves in this situation they should seek help they should seek help right but but in the yamics narrative we're, we're all that like i can't discern i can't discern that that the <laughs> That the Legatus is too much. So I'm going to run out and spend $35,000 I don't have. I feel like to, to the Yamics, we're all stupid and we're all going to buy what we cannot afford. Like that's how I feel like he constructs these narratives. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That's the JPEG. When they're costing, you know, 200 bucks, having spent on average about 400 or hell, 1,000 bucks is 
Not that far. <laughs> when the project and people around it normalizes the fact that, oh no, you're not buying a spaceship that normally you would need to play the game for. No, you're supporting the development. <laughs> and the price tag of $200 is okay, trust us. Well, then Yemix has some fucking problems. You see, I've long since been against nearly all of the ways Star Citizen not only markets their packages or their pricing. So he's going to stand up against capitalism. <laughs> so now Yamix is going to stand up for, for the gamer. Like, he, the, he's not. He is not. <laughs> like, like he's going to make himself the hero here. And he's standing up for all gamers because the evil Cloud Imperium is selling packages that are way too high priced that all of us suckers are buying. Like... Do you understand what I'm saying when I watch things like this? There's a lot of other content out there like this, not just from Yamix, but from so many content creators on YouTube. And it is about the clickbaitiest thing that I've ever seen. It is about the clickbaitiest thing that I've ever seen, that we're all incompetent, that we can't discern what's rational and what isn't, that we have no clue, that we're not adults, that we're all spending way too much money, and that we're being fooled by the evil empire of Cloud Imperium, that they are the galactic empire, and we are, they, are, they are all hoodwinking us, and we are all spending way too much money. I am so, I am so fucking tired of this content. I am so tired of it. So but also tired. presentation of the project, the glossy trailers See, that are little, massively night, underrepresentative bro. of the project, let alone the current state of the so-called playable alpha. Now, before I go on, I do also have to recommend you take a look at my collaborative work that I did with my fellow creators and what they have to say about Star Citizen, their thoughts on what is the ups and downs, and what's going on with the future as well. I'll link it down below. But today, as I take a look back at Star Citizen, to me, it's astonishing how little actually seems to have been accomplished, given the time and funding. Even e Yeah, I can't watch it anymore because this fucking guy has no clue. This guy has no fucking clue. I can't I can't watch it anymore, man. I've seen the development. It, it's slow at times, but it's happened and it's just it's just like the same thing over and over again. I like I can't watch the same clickbaity shit over and over again. I'm sorry, guys. Like you guys put in the Discord, "Hey, watch this EG." But like I'm I'm tired of this type of content. I'm tired of it. <laughs> it's I'm done. I'm done with it. <laughs> yeah, I it's 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 worn out. It is worn out. Right? If you don't like it, don't be a part of it, right? Yamix. Yamix. If you don't like it, stop it, dude. What you don't want to stop it? You don't want to stop it why? You don't want to stop it because it pays you? Is that why you're doing it still? To get those clicks? <laughs> you're so unhappy with it. Why do you keep covering it? Is it constructive? Is it to help the project? Is that what you're doing, Yamix? Are you doing this for the little guy? Are you doing this to, to help the project? No. Yamix is doing this to help Yamix. That's it. That's all he's doing it for. And everybody keeps clicking it. Everybody keeps clicking it, man. They need that new morsel. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> Like it's so it's so fucking easy for me to see that I wonder why a lot of people are clicking the video. I mean, like, how many people clicked on that video? Like, look, so far 8,700 8, people that just gobbled up the next pellet. The same thing. The same thing. Uh, I call that low effort. I call that content low effort. That's what I call that content. It's the same content over and over and over again. Just slap another thumbnail on it. Just slap another <laughs> slap another thumbnail on it, man. 